How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Of course, it being Sunday morning at 10am, it's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Okay, so if you want to be featured in the episode, send me a hasty screenshot in using the hashtag it's HABER on Twitter and give me a brief description of your team. Now, if you play two different formations, for example, you start in a 4-3-3 like Gabriel has and you go to a 4-2-3-1, please send me in both uh, teams, like both screens shots it just makes life so much easier helps me out massively being able to check the team out and stuff like that uh, and it's greatly appreciated so i guess without further ado Hey guys, just want to quickly say a massive thank you to Soccer Dash US store for, uh, for sponsoring this. Um, now, these guys provide amazing, high-quality replica jerseys at really affordable prices. I see a lot of people buying the actual, you know, for example, Arsenal shirts. They're like 50, 60, 70 pounds. They're getting so expensive now, and these shirts are genuine, exact replicas. They have the embroidered Adidas logo. They have the embroidered Arsenal logo. Nothing's like bad plastic ironed on stuff it's really good quality uh they've sent me loads of different stuff in the past i've been wearing a lot of their track suits recently i put fit photos on the screen for you guys to check them out um i highly recommend you guys check them out though they're really really good uh, i'm a big fan of their products i've been sponsoring the channel for a while now um and you know i wouldn't promote absolute rubbish uh, i'm a big fan of it and uh, i appreciate all of you guys for the support you show me make sure you check them out link in the description as always soccer-us.com uh they literally do so many different shirts. I would highly recommend them. I personally wear them. I wear them to the gym. Uh, and I think they're great for going to the gym in. Uh, I wear their uh, mainly my United stuff. But I've got a lot of PSG stuff as well. I think their PSG stuff is really cool. Uh, this one's literally like a polo shirt. Um, they do either the shirts or the shirts and shorts combo. Usually actually... Uh, quite a lot off. They, you know, they do uh, two dollars for your name and number on there, which is pretty sick. So I recommend them. Link in the description. Thank you all. Enjoy the video. Let's go and check out Gabriel's team. Uh, now he says third picture is on the of, of the team I want to save up to get. Got two hundred k, all special cards and untradeables. Uh, oh, sorry, all special cards are untradeable. Any improvements? All right, we'll check it out. So he starts at four three three. He's got baby Cruyff, which we were having a debate about earlier on stream. I think Cruyff is ridiculously overpriced this year. Um, if we actually have a look at Cruyff, I think that for his prime being 5 mil, I think it's that that's just too overpriced for me, personally. Uh, I look at his baby, 2.2 mil for this card. I think there's way better cards you can get for a lot less. And then 2.8 mil for this card. It's just, in my opinion, a bit too overpriced on PlayStation. Uh, let me know what you think in the, in the description down below. Sorry, in the comments down below, not the description. In the comments, I'd love to hear your feedback. So this is what he's currently playing, and he plays like this in-game. And he wants to save up towards getting this. Now, he's got 200k so far. I would say this team would be a great uh, end aspiration to go for. Now, differences being, I would say, aspire bigger. Aspire to complete that Hazard that just came out, the play moments Hazard. Aspire to get Road to the Final, Usman Dembele. Aspire to get Road to the Final, Eder Militao. Because those players will massively improve your team. And for an extra million, million and a half coins... It's going to take you longer to save up, yes, but I think that you you want to aim higher. You want you want to sort of shoot for the clouds and and you know end up with a team like this. Now, I see a team of the year Ronaldo on your bench, and I'm I'm a little bit upset right now. Please tell me that is alone. Please don't tell me that that you've got a team of the year Ronaldo and you're not starting him. Please, I, I I'm guessing it's alone because yeah, I mean I I would guess it's alone, but uh, yeah, I don't know. If you've got a team of the year Ronaldo and tradable on your bench, then. That's disgusting. I don't want to get away from that as far, as far as possible. But as the team goes right now, if I was to say make upgrades to this team right now with 200k, I would say um, possibly possibly trying to replace Rykar with a better icon. Now, there is some cheap icons. I personally like Nakata as a CDM. Uh, Nakata's got a few different cards that you can get. Now, I think his prime Nakata is about 270 right now. Maybe a little bit more. He's about 300 right now. But... This card right here has got 64 defending, which I know isn't the best, but you can add a chem style, like a shadow or something to him and get better out of him. For 137k, in my opinion, it's probably going to be better than the clunky mess that is Rykard. Uh, he's got better uh, agility and balance. He's got decent going forward stats as well, which allows you to play the ball better with him and stuff like that. So that's what I would look towards. Apart from that, I think the team's solid. And obviously, uh, aspiring higher, getting the, uh, the other team is definitely a good shout. Do you play closer at centre mid? Very interesting. Um, okay, next one is going to come from uh, Harvey Odell, who says, Hi, it's Saber. First team is how I start, and the second is what I play in-game. I have around 300,000 coins for upgrades. The only tradable players are Salah and wan -Bissaka. I'm not sure who to get out of for swaps. Uh, prepared to grind the rest. Love the content. Give with the good work. Baby R9. Very interesting. I don't like Baby R9, but 
That's only the only reason why I don't like that card is because he doesn't have five star skills. Everything else about him is incredible. The only reason why I don't like the card is because the other ones have got five star and he doesn't, and it's so annoying. But the card performs really well in game and scores some absolute bangers, so you can't really complain about that. Now, in terms of swaps, I see you've already got Hiero. Do you want to grind the rest? If you're going to grind the rest, who do you go for? Is a question. I mean, you could grind and get that Blanc. I think Baby Blanc will perform better in game than Baby uh, Baby Pep Guardiola. Um, you could also alternatively go for uh, for Zambrotta. That wouldn't be a bad shout as well. That allows you actually to have more um, freedom in what you use over there at right centre back. Could allow you to bring in, for example, like Sergio Ramos. Um, you know, that could be pretty cool. Uh, alternatively, if you ever upgrade your goalkeeper, then you could also go for, uh, like, if you get, like, an icon goalie, for example, you can go with anyone at centre back there. Um, it allows you to work better. Uh, apart from that, it's up to you, really. At the end of the day, have you got the time to dedicate to the swaps? That is why I ask you. Have you got the time to dedicate swaps? And uh, if you do, it's completely on you at the end of the day. Um, personally, I don't like icon swaps right now until we start getting the high tier plays. For example, Hullet. For example, uh, Eusebio, Dalglish, uh, R9. Until we start getting high tier plays, for me, it's not worth it because... I already have an incredible team as it is, and there's no point for me to grind towards getting, for example, a Socrates that won't even upgrade my team. Um, I see, obviously, the the uh, the the appeal to the people that don't have a 20 million coin team like myself. The next one coming from Luke says, "Hi, this is my team. I have 300,000 coins, and I'm willing to grind for 20 Icon Swap tokens. Don't really know what I was thinking with gigs with Icon Swaps one, but he does the job. I <laughs> play Xbox. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. I love that. Oh my god, I can't even see the team." I literally can't even see the team. I don't know what happened in the in the saving in the saving process of this. I'm gonna like, is it Twitter? I think it's Twitter. I literally could barely tell the team. Um, in terms of icon swaps, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put my specs on to see it because I really can't. I, I would say what 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 positions are you missing out on here? I would say for icon swaps, try and get a better cam. Um, you could ultimately put you could put. Uh, Ooh, could you though? No, maybe you couldn't. Maybe hmm. I see your problem. Maybe getting like Perez or something or Barnes for uh, for gigs is not a bad shout. Or just getting a better cam, to be honest. I think I think your weakness is your cams. Uh, moving on now, we've got Oliver Figlin's team, who says uh, I was I was in one of your previous ones, but I wasn't featured. What? The first pick is how I start. How, how does that even work? Okay. The first one is how I start. The second one is in game. I have 780k and the only tradable player is Lucas Hernandez. I'm going for Coman and Icon Swaps for sure. Who else do you think I should go for? If anyone loves the vids, keep the good work. Thank you very much, man. Um, this team looks pretty cool, actually. I like I like the layout of this team. I like Acuna and uh, Pataglia as centre mids. They're both incredible. What would I go for in this team? I would say a good start for this team would be looking towards possibly getting yourself... Um, maybe getting yourself, for example, a Socrates. Uh, Socrates is a great centre mid this year. He's not a good CDM, and he, I don't think he's great at cam, but as a centre mid, he works as a powerhouse and would be great for a centre mid spot in your team. Um, now, you could put him at left cam and upgrade Balassi. How many coins did you say you had? It doesn't say how many coins you say you had, and I've got a new firmware update for Elgato. Thank you very much. You don't say how many coins you've got, but... In terms of getting a striker then, if you were to get Socrates, you'd be able to get any striker up top, which would help you out. Um, I would say getting the likes of... of who's, who's a good striker? Who's a good striker that I've used recently that I enjoyed? Who have you got on the bench? <laughs> I can't think of a, a, a not really expensive striker that I've used. Inaki Williams would be a good shout, or that player moments Morales would both be really good. Or even Ryan Kent. Um, but no, I would say, yeah, definitely look towards getting yourself a Socrates. Uh, then you can, you can possibly replace him with, you can, you can, for example, have Akuna get subbed off for Bataglia if you prefer him. Uh, I think he's a great box to box, to be honest. Uh, alternatively, Seydorf is also a very good box to box. He says 780k. He does say 780k. I'm an idiot. Thank you, chat. I'm recording this on Twitch, by the way. Chat just said it says 780k. See, this is a problem, right? Sometimes I don't see things, so I need Twitch chat to remind me. Thank you, chat. Thank you. So he says he's got 780,000 coins. Well, that changes everything, doesn't it? Because he's got enough to get a banging striker. Uh, you've got enough to get Mbappe. Mbappe is like 650k. That would improve your attack on... like It'd improve your attack tenfold. Mbappe this year is the best striker on the game. Just normal Mbappe. This card, if you guys can afford this card, is the best card on the game. I can't even get it up on Footbin right now. Hello, Mbappe? Do you want to come up? I spelled it wrong. 
Where is he? This card is the, the like any version of this card is the best striker on the game. He's absolutely incredible, um, and he would improve your attack tenfold. So I would say get yourself one of either Socrates or Sadorf, depending on which one you prefer. Is a box to box, um, and then get yourself uh, Mbappe up front, and that will improve your team massively, in my opinion. Moving on, we've got Billy's team, who says hi, uh, hi, Ice Saber, Salamone, Gerard, Blanc, De Gea, and the whole bench are untradeable. Who else should I get from Icon Swaps? Also, should I save towards next? Uh, thanks very much for loving the stream. Second and third are both what I play in game. Okay, let's check it out. All right. So, you're saying you're getting Blanc. Um, who else should you get? Hmm. Who else do you want to get from Icon Swaps? Where have you got weakness? Now, I don't see a massive weakness in your team at the minute. I mean, you could you could get Hierro and sell Ramos. Um, now, that would also allow you to get a better right back in game. That would allow you to get, for example, a Kyle Walker or uh, who else could you get? How many coins did you say you had? Uh, it doesn't. This one actually doesn't say how many coins you have. But if you've got a good amount of coins and you sell Ramos, you could possibly save towards getting maybe Player of the Month Trent or even Team of the Year Trent. Um, you could get yourself a special version of Kyle Walker. I don't really like Carvajal, Carvajal this year, so that would help out your team massively, in my opinion. Or even get yourself a Brazilian right back. That would also help. Um, so I would say Hierro is a good shout. You could also get yourself maybe Van der Sar. Um, that'll allow De Gea to become essentially fodder. A 90 rated card in SBC will save you a lot of coins. Um, you could also maybe get Zambrotta from Icon Swaps. That'd also help you out. If you get if you get Hierro, get Zambrotta. Um, you could maybe get yourself... Who else could you get maybe? I mean, realistically, you're starting... So you're playing that game. You're starting like that. So you're getting full chemistry on everyone. Is there anyone... It, or you, I think the way you want, got to think about this team is who in this team are you not enjoying? For example, if you're not enjoying Salah at Cam, maybe try and upgrade Salah. If you're not enjoying Firmino at centre mid, maybe try and upgrade Firmino. Uh, I think that's the best way to sort of look at it, to be honest. Um, but they're my suggestions on the team. I think the team's really nice, though. Well built, structured well. Uh, and I like Firmino at centre mid. He just performs really well. I'm not a big fan of him at CDM, but at centre mid, I think he's pretty good. So he's pretty solid. Uh, next one coming from Alfie. Whole team is untradeable, apart from the bench from uh, uh, Adama and Stegen. Looking to get Blanc from Icon Swaps and swap maybe Van der Sar and in-game I want to upgrade Makalele and Lucas Mora to Blanc and somebody else. Have 100,000 coins spare, keep it the good work of the vids. Thank you very much, Alfie. Uh, so this is what you play in-game. You play a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, which is a very good formation this year. You guys can't really see it, but he's got PK, Alexander-Arnold and Stegen net, which you can tell from here. Um, what else would I say? I mean, I like in the team there in Mbappe. Uh, I don't like playing players off chemistry. A big pet of peeve of mine is playing players off chemistry. I would decide which one out of PK and Diego that you like the best and get Hierro for the other one. That allows you at least to get your Trent on full chemistry and it allows you a little bit more freedom in the squad as well. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting an illegal link to the second centre-back as well, uh, which allows you then, if you ever want to upgrade, for example, Paul Scholes, you will be able to. Now, you're playing McAleer at CDM, right? No, you're playing Ducore at uh, CDM. You're playing McAleer at centre-mid. I would look towards possibly upgrading Makalele. Now, if you're going to play, be playing another person off chemistry, you could save up towards getting yourself, again, a Nakata. That would be a good option. Nakata is actually really good this year. Really strong uh, centre mid slash cam slash CDM. A lot of people hate Nakata, and it's hilarious because Nakata actually, although he's one of the cheapest icons, is one of the best value icons because he's very good box to box. He's very good CDM, very good cam. He's just a very good uh, all round icon to get as a midfielder. So it could be a good shout for your team um, if you're not enjoying Makaleli centre mid. That is because, in my opinion, this Makaleli card would be a good CDM, but he's got nothing going forward. Like absolutely nothing. Like if we look at this card, he's got 64 shooting. His 82 uh, dribbling isn't the worst in the world because he's got good agility and balance, but in my opinion, this this card with medium, medium work rates, I don't see him doing a number up top. Like, three-star weak foot. Obviously, you're not playing him as striker, but I, a lot of the time, get goals with Shizoko or Kante because they find themselves in a good position where they actually can take a shot. And if your player can't take a shot, for example, 67 finishing, 62 shot power, 65 long shots, Chief, he's just, he's just not going to work. He's just not going to work when he, when any ever getting forward. So that's the way I look at it, especially in a 4 2 2 narrow. Your right centre mid, although he's probably going to be defensive, will eventually get into spots where he can shoot. And if he's not going to score, he's a... Uh, you know, Chief, he's not going to uh, he's not going to do well. Uh, I'm getting spam saying he's got Varane on the bench. I know he's got Varane on the bench, but I mean, Varane on the bench isn't really going to help his team, is he? I mean, I would like he's still going to get not not full chemistry with Varane on the bench. 
that's what I would say to your team. Um, alternatively, something I would say you could do is if that petite is untradeable and not a uh, dupe, uh, sorry, not, not a dupe, if that petite is not a loan, for example, I don't, I can't see how it would be a loan. If it's not a loan, I'd replace petite in your team with maybe a Kotcha. Petit would be a solid CDM option if Decore ever runs out of stamina, if you're going into an extra time. I think that would be a good, uh, good option to bring on. Uh, in like the 115th minute when you need uh, someone to close out the game, hold the ball for you. I think Petit would be a good CDM personally. Uh, moving on now, we've got Andreas London. Uh, sorry, Landon, not London. I have 150k in the bank. Everyone but Kante, Pogba and Cancelo is untradeable. Second pick, Sal playing game. Love the bitch. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. So, I like it already. That Bernardo Silva, amazing card. Absolutely phenomenal card. Uh, that Paul, uh, I was going to say Paul Pogba. Say, that, that Paulinho is incredible as well. Pogba's all right. I like Pogba. He's not bad. Uh, I like the layout of this team, though. I think this team is really well laid out. How is that Matthias at centre-back? I've never seen anyone play him at centre-back. They always move in centre-mid in game. Uh, but I like the layout of this team. Now, I have one pet peeve. You know what I'm going to say. That William. It's annoying me. I would say Felipe Anderson's new card would be a fantastic option there. Uh, when you eventually grind to level 30 of, uh, of season objectives, this card would be a great, great, great uh, upgrade, in my opinion, to that uh, to that William. Um, he's got phenomenal agility and balance. He's got good shooting. Uh, what's his composure? 86 composure is pretty good. 84 stamina is great. Uh, he's got really, really nice overall stats. Now, chat saying screen Bernard. That's not a bad shout as well. Um, but I would say, personally, uh, grind towards this card because... It doesn't cost you any coins and it allows you to spend coins elsewhere. For example, you find yourself with four, five hundred K, you'd be able to upgrade that Kante to an informed Kante. Um, and alternatively, though, if you spend like 150, 200 K on that screen, Bernard, you won't find yourself in that opportunity for a little while. There could be SBCs come out as well. I'd look towards that. So if there's an SBC comes out that you think would fit the squad perfectly, maybe you've got coins liquid to do that as well. Is that Allison and tradable? Probably. Probably. Uh, uh, although I got Kante, I, I'm I'm grinding. I'm grinding these upgrades. I want to get another blue, man. I want to get another another blue. I really do. Um, Jake's team now. Promos and Varan are not tradable. Have 100k for upgrades. Give me the good work. Thank you very much, Jake. Let's check it out. Ooh, okay. This is different. I'm liking the input of the uh, of the the little Eredivisie input here. I'm liking that at the start of the game. By the way, that Bergwin and Marlon card used to tear me apart. If you guys remember, Bergwin Marlon. Over the top free ball, counter attacks. Oh, I hated it. It was the worst in the world. Um, this team's nice, though. This team is nice. It's a shame you didn't get that Tagliafico special card from Objectives. That is a shame. Um, any upgrades for this team? What would I do? 100,000 coins to upgrade. I'll be honest with you. i keep it the way it is. I would keep it the way it is. The only thing I could possibly say that you could do with this card is is look towards getting Dutch icons. Uh, and obviously, only 100k. You haven't got that uh, privilege just yet. I would genuinely keep it the way it is because... That is a nice team, and it will work to the meta of this game really well. I would say just save and save and save. If you can find yourself in a month or two months' time where you can afford that team of the year, Dion, go for it. Uh, if you want to go for icon tops as well, maybe get yourself a new centre-back, maybe get yourself a new cam or something, you can do that too. Um, chat saying icon left-back. I don't think there is one. There's not a, there's not a uh, an icon left-back. Get the ZH objective. I mean, the ZH objective doesn't get a full chemistry in his team. I mean, no, it does actually. But then you're sacrificing the CDM, which is De Jong. Um, you could get the ZH objective as a super sub, but I wouldn't go for it. Roberto Carlos was last was last chat. Roberto Carlos was in the last icon swaps. Stupid chat. God, chat is silly, aren't they? He's only got 100k. He can't. He can't. I'm arguing with my chat. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I'm sorry. I'm arguing with Twitch chat. We're talking about getting an icon. I, I was saying getting an icon left back from swaps, but there isn't one this month. Zambrot is a right wing back. <sighs> Face palm. Anyway, um, you could get you could work on super subs for now and save up your coins. I'd say because uh, I like the layout of the team, and I don't think I don't want to sit there and say, "Oh, get yourself this, this, and this," and change the area factor because I like the uh, the Dutch links. Um, I would say wait for Icon Swaps three if you're going to get yourself a new a new, uh, a new for example left back right back CDM because I think we'll get better ones then. You could possibly just get yourself Sadorf. Sadorf would work. Um, Sadorf would get yourself a, uh, a a decent link. Um, what are you saying? ZH for Diong swap. Yeah, ZH and Diong could swap, and then you don't have a CDM. And then what do you do? 
Because De Jong's playing his CDM and his team. Alright, I'm going to stop arguing with chat because it probably doesn't make any sense on the video. I do apologise. The next team is from Wayne. Hey man, I've got 750k and I play 4-3-3-2 in game. My untradables are the SBC cards and icons. My plan is to get Zambrotta from uh, this swaps when I can also uh, upgrade. I'm thinking of swapping here for Diego Carlos. PS, love the vids. Do keep the good work. Well, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Let's check it out. Uh, we're going to call this one the last one as well for this episode, guys. So this is what he starts. He starts in the 4-3-3. Okay. Interesting. I'm not. I'm not a fan of playing these two off chemistry here. Uh, you change to a four one two one two in game. Oh, sorry, four three three two in game. Um, I mean, I like what you play in game. I've actually got destroyed by this formation a lot, uh, and I, I hate playing against the formation because for some reason it works really well against a four two three one and a four triple two. It just gets in behind really well. Uh, I would say look towards upgrading maybe Screen Bernard, relegate him to the bench, and get yourself maybe uh, Barnes from Icon Swaps. Um, there isn't any, as far as I'm aware, Brazil. I mean, you could get like. Vinicius Jr., but that's a massive downgrade. Um, I'm not a big fan of playing these two off chemistry. Now, you could maybe start in a different formation. No, you can't. Uh, no, you could actually. I mean, you could start in a 4 3 3 brackets 3, and you could start with uh, getting uh, Vidal on full chemistry, and then all you've got is screen Bernard off chemistry, and that's not the worst in the world. Then you're not playing two plays off chemistry. Um, that would work. And then you uh, you change to the 4, four 3 3 2 in game. That, that would work pretty well if you, if you start in a 4 3 3 3. Because that then gets uh, Vidal linking with Longley um, and give you uh, give you the links there. Of course, Bernardo, uh, uh, Screen Bernard, Bernardo, will, um, Screen Bernard will be on uh, will be on off chemistry the whole way through. Alternatively, you could uh, you could maybe look towards upgrading. I was going to say upgrade the right wing, but I think Willian does the job, to be honest. I, don't, I can't see anyone else being better than Willian there. I think Willian's actually really good. I think the team's solid. Um. Yeah, I would say just start in a four three three. I would say I'd say start in a four three three and uh, and and get yourself full cam on, on on Vidal. But thank you all for watching this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please smash a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.